Today, it's time for the final pillar. You only need one traffic source. Right now, let me explain how this, the traffic source kind of fits into the bigger picture of that profitable lifestyle business, yeah? So you've got that irresistible offer all ready to sell. And, and you now have that second part, you know how to sell it in a really predictable way. And you know you've got a really cool message that you can take out to market, that unique kind of message that will attract your kind of people, right? But now at this point, you've got to actually get it out there. You know what you shouldn't do to get it out there? Everything, <laughs> okay? In my early years of business, I was like, the more the better. If I've got something to sell, I should just do everything I can to get it out there. I need to get traffic, right? And essentially traffic is, traffic just basically means people out in the world finding out about you and your offer. And, and coming towards you you and your offer, right? So I was like, I should get on podcasts and Facebook groups and harness Instagram and Facebook ads and send emails and do joint ventures um, with like other coaches, other businesses. I should set up a YouTube channel and um, do Facebook lives and SEO and LinkedIn groups and the list goes on and on and on, right? Guess what? No surprises here. Um, that's flipping exhausting and it's impossible, okay? Now don't get me wrong, I love the whole I'm going to do whatever it takes to get this out there approach. Like that is good. That's exactly how we should be thinking, right? That, that doing attitude, that's essential. But if it's channeled in the wrong way, you might have already figured this out. It can end up causing overwhelm and burnout really fast. Yeah. I promise you, we can't master every different type of traffic, right? It's not possible, but it's okay. Cause we don't need to, we only need to get to get your first financial goal. Right, I call your financial goal your freedom metric. That number that when you hit that amount of income in your business, you feel truly free, right? So to get to your freedom metric, you only need one traffic source, right? So that's step number one, right? Committing to only one traffic source. Are you with me? Yes? So now what about step number two? Which traffic source? Which traffic source and how do we harness it? How do we harness it to get in front of the people who really need us, really need you, your ideal customers? How do we get, how do we choose the right traffic source and use it so that people get to know you and like you and trust you and raise their hands and say, hey, I want to find out more, All right? And I've got to tell you right now in 2021, the number one traffic source that's having the most success for all of our most successful members in our community, it's Facebook groups. Facebook groups are essentially, they're, they're free online communities, right? And your ideal market are hanging out in there daily. No matter the industry, even if you're in business to business, no, it's like, it's the perfect place for you to not like jump in and start hardcore pitching at people. It's the perfect place to start helping people who have problems that are your ideal clients, right? Just answering one question for someone in a Facebook group who's having a problem that you know your offer can solve, right? That's the first step to a long-term customer relationship. I know it's like, it's a novel idea. Show people you can help them by actually helping them, right? So the whole strategy behind Facebook groups is you don't even need to have your own Facebook group to be able to do this successfully. That's the end goal is to get your own Facebook group and have your own community that you're leading. And I love it because they're free to build a Facebook group. You don't have to know how to code or be techie to build a Facebook group. And you only need one awesome Facebook group, right? You don't need 10. So building your own Facebook group, awesome, love it. However, at the beginning, while you're building your own and getting some people inside and getting that momentum, you can totally join other Facebook groups where your ideal market is hanging out. And instead of pitching at them, we just answer their questions. We be helpful. You find people who have problems that you and your genius zone can solve. People who are showing from their problem that you're an, they're an ideal prospect for your offer. And you just talk them up. You just talk them up with some answers. You don't give away everything. You don't give them, you know, 20 lines of private coaching as your response, but you give them one big tip and start entering that conversation. So I call this my private message flow. And I've got a whole social selling strategy that I go through that's really quick and allows someone to go from, hey, I just found out about you and what you do to, oh my goodness, where can I sign up, right? How to get someone to be, to essentially we call it heating them up from a really cold, potential lead to a really hot prospect that's ready to buy. And of course there are other traffic sources, right? And I'm totally aware there are heaps of other free, amazing traffic sources that you can harness. Um, different ones, whether you're a startup female entrepreneur or more experienced, we've got about, uh, we've got about 11 traffic strategies, both paid and free traffic strategies. But so we've got time for today, Facebook group, free traffic strategies are hands down the number one uh, tool right now that is helping